So in this moment where everyone is concerned about possible risks of uh, aerosolization when performing laparoscopy on a patient who is COVID positive or who is suspect for being COVID positive, um, it is really important to have uh, particular care and to have a couple of tricks in order not to enhance those risks. So laparoscopy is still possible. The, mo the most important things are to have in the trocar a smoke evacuation system all over surgery. And secondly, at the end of surgery, when the gas is stopped, mm -hmm. it's important to evacuate, it's important to evacuate smoke with, uh, with a suction device as this one. And until the abdomen is completely desufflated, we will not proceed to the extraction mini laparotomy or to removal of trocars. In the following video, we're going to demonstrate how to create a pneumoperitoneum management system for laparoscopic surgery in COVID-19 patients. This is a project done in the Rojo Villanova Hospital in Zaragoza, Spain. And these are the elements that are going to be required for the construction of this pneumoperitoneum evacuation system. Here we have a diagram of the system that we're going to assemble. This system is going to allow us to evacuate pneumoperitoneum during laparoscopic surgery in COVID-19 suspected or confirmed cases in a safe, secure manner for the surgical staff. For its construction, we're going to need a hard suction canister, a 2-liter plastic suction bag, an open suction tube, a one centimeter diameter suction tube connector, a CO2 laparoscopic filter, rulers, scissors, and a lubricant like silk spray. So this material can be found in any OR facility. For the construction of the system, we're going to cut off the ends of the open suction tube and we're going to put an RTU cuff as an oversize. This tube, we're going to introduce it inside the plastic bag removing the white cap and we're going to introduce it 30 centimeters until it generates a sealed off system with the RTU overcuff. Once this is sealed, we're going to fill it with water and sodium hypochlorite halfway closing the system and put it inside the hard canister. Then this is going to be connected to the wall suction or the central suction of the OR facility. Afterwards, we can connect the CO2 filter to the laparoscopic trocar through this connector. And with this valve, we can control the pneumoperitoneum that's going to go out the patient through the filter and into our designed canister system with water and sodium hypochlorite. At the end of the surgery, we're going to evacuate this pneumoperitoneum to avoid hazardous exposure of coronavirus to the surgical staff. At the end of the surgery, we re evacuate all the pneumoperitoneum in a closed system. We can remove all the tubing and the plastic bag and dispose it in a safe and controlled fashion. Thank you for your attention.
This is a very simple and cheap way of trying to protect us from the droplets caused by lab surgery. Two tubing systems from Ivy lines are connected between them and then to a troker. The tip of the tubing system is then submerged in a solution of water and bleach or peroxide or any other viricidal solution. This container is then placed on the floor and the lid is placed on top of it to avoid any splashing. like to introduce you a homemade solution in order to filter air from patients that have been infected with COVID-19. Infanta Sofia's hospital does not count with thoracic surgery. Therefore, general surgeons are the ones who deal with pneumothorax. This solution, we thought it would be useful for both pneumothorax and also to extract the air after a laparoscopic surgery. Basically, this solution consists in connecting a pleuric earth through an infusion system into a respiratory filter. This filter will filter the air in the cube that is filled with water and 1% bleach. From there, it will travel to the general suction system. Fill one of the plastic cups of a standard surgical aspiration device with isotonic saline solution. An isogastric tube must be placed and sealed into said plastic cup. The end of the nasogastric tube has to be submerged into the saline solution. Then the other end of the nasogastric tube is connected to a regular IV tubing which is attached to a trocker. It's only needed to open the trocker to extract the generated smoke. We show you a video with the procedure that we have devised for a safe extraction of the pneumoperitoneum in laparoscopic surgery in the cases of patients with COVID-19. We use the standard vacuum we fill the container with water and bleach in a concentration of 10% approximately. We add a plastic tube that collects the sect air and funnels it below the water level. We connect the laparoscopic trocar into an aspiration filter and this filter to the usual rubber of the aspirator. Another option would be to use a serum system that fits into the trocar and which adds it's connected to the vacuum directly or with an adapter or connection. In this way, we avoid to spread the CO2 and therefore the viruses it contains. This is our smoke evacuation system for laparoscopic surgery in COVID-19 patients. It is composed by a filtering system, a 5 mm endotracheal tube, a vacuum rubber tube, irrigation solution and bleach. First of all, we put the irrigation solution with bleach into vacuum canister. After, we introduce the endotracheal tube in the canister as showed. Then, we adapt the vacuum rubber tube terminal to the filtering system. So we connect the smoke evacuation system to the trocar. Finally, this is the system working. Good morning, my name is Dr. Costa from Hospital Mutua de Raza, Barcelona. Today we're going to present how to perform laparoscopic surgery in coronavirus patients. In order to do it, we will need a trocar, a silicon rubber tube, an endofractal connection, the main filter, the thoracic drainage system with sterile water and 1% of hypochlorite sodium, and the main suction wall system. In order to do it, we will connect the silicon rubber to the trocar. After that, we use the endotracheal connection, which is split in two. One end goes to the silicon rubber, then connects to the main filter, and then proceed to the other end of the connection. After that, we connect the tube that comes from the thoracic drainage system. 
we will mix the sealant of the thoracic drainage system with sterilium water and 1% of hypochlorite sodium. After that, we connect the system to the wall suction. And that is how it's done. Thanks a lot. What we need to apply our method is a smoke filter like the one in the image and a pleurovac. You can fill the pleurovac with a mixture of half water and half bleach. It's important to connect the filter to the larger trocar you're using to allow more outflow. Open the flow regulator to the maximum. The filter is capable of retaining particles down to 0.02 microns and the coronavirus has an average size between 0.06 and 0.12 microns, so it's more than enough. If you are not comfortable with the filter as the only barrier, you can connect a suction tube to the connector that has the filter, taking care that it is perfectly attached. Then, connect the other end to the inlet of the pleurovac and you can see how the water seal works continuously, retaining virus particles that could have passed through the filter. To allow a sufficient exchange of pneumoperitoneum, you have to set the flow to more than 8 liters per minute, since, as you can see, this change is between 5 and 6 liters per minute in a 12 millimeter trocar. At the end of the surgery, connect another respiration tube from the pleurovac outlet to the suction container and lightly press the abdomen to allow the complete evacuation of all the pneumoperitoneum. We would like to present a pneumoperitoneum suction system under the water seal designed at the Sunis Pazis University Hospital. First of all, we need a 24 team and catheter. We need to cut the proximal and distal ends. Then, we have to connect the thick part to the filter of the ventilator. Finally, the device is connected to a plurivac. This is the finished device. This is the system working. Finally, the device must be connected to the aspiration for a correct suction.